up, people? Welcome back to another episode of our movie preview and review is your favorite girl, B. Today, I'm reviewing the movie Weather for Two. Come along with me, guys. When a normal person hears Weather for Two, the things that come into mind are love, romance, and sex. The writer and director of this movie must have been going through something when they worked on the movie because there was no single correlation between what they gave us and the movie title. Trust me when I say nothing prepares you for how pointless and illogical this movie is. Disjointed scenes, poor dialogues, poor effects and makeup, plot progression was incoherent, no background, no character development, no clear conflict, no end. You heard that correctly, there was no end. The movie just stopped abruptly and nothing was resolved. Acting was terrible, SODK cannot act. Topre Olowonian was a good actress, but she was just there in this movie. Beverly Osu was Beverly Osu. The only problem was that they actually gave her lines to deliver in this movie, and that might have been acting too much. Tin and Bao well, had no business being in this movie, plus what was that makeup? There were so many bad scenes, I can't even decide which scene was the worst. Should I talk about the fake mother scene where the dead person could not act dead? The police officers looked and sounded lost, even the accused person did not look worried. All of them were just acting confused. Let's not even talk about the fact that Collar dreamt that he had a dream and inside the dream he was dreaming. Meanwhile, we did not see him sleep in the first place, so I was just weak. Typically, I will go into details explaining the loopholes and the issues noticed, but for this particular movie, I won't stress myself because that will be investing more thought and effort than what the owners of this movie deemed necessary. Overall, this movie was very unpleasant, poor scripts, lazy directing, poor acting. As far as movie goes, this movie is strictly mediocre stuff. It's an offensive waste of time. Please avoid it at every cost. I have no choice but to divorce you, and then we can be together. Alright people, with that we've come to the end of today's episode of our movie preview and review but I'll be giving this movie a solid 0.5 over 10. This movie, like I said earlier, is an absolute waste of time. No beginning, no end. The movie just stopped abruptly and that was it. If you're still following up to this point, please let me know if you've seen this movie in the comment section. Drop a comment. If you've not, please go see it or please don't see it because that's a waste of time. Alright, please don't forget to follow us on our streaming handles. On Instagram, we go by e.com underscore official. For Facebook and YouTube, we go by e.com official. And for Twitter, we go by edotcom one all in the working alphabet. Bye, guys.